Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I was helping somebody create a brush stroke around an ellipse. And I was showing them, and if you haven't watched that video, you might want to watch it. And then I was thinking, later on, I was thinking, you could find brush strokes off the internet. So I actually found one. I traced it, or bitmapped it black and white, and then I traced it. And I pulled it over here. I'm not going to say it's the best one. I actually like the one I did. But then with that selected, go up to your artistic media tool and save it. And we're going to call it Paint 3. It is going to save it in a custom file. The other ones were in texture. This one will be in custom. So we're going to take our ellipse. Get it over here a little closer. Let's get rid of that one. And I'm using somebody else's program. I've actually got a solid feel. So take your, we can move that out of the way for a second. Take your lips, have it selected, go to your artistic media tool and select that one. And look at that. So I don't really like it. And you can change a lot. You can make it thinner. And that might really work. Let's try this. So I've been playing around with this. That doesn't look too bad. Let's control D and make a duplicate of that. And then let's just rotate it around. That might work. And then I'm going to, well, that would, that right there would work. But if you want to play with it more, left click, right click, and then select it all, go up to break objects apart. Yeah, it didn't really work too much. Let's see if we can't delete two of those lines. Go up to range, ungroup objects, try to get that red hairline. So that might work. And then you could take your smart fill tool, have it set on black, and fill in pieces that you want that you know you want and have, you know, as many, many or a few or, you know, anything, anything in between. I mean, the good thing is you can always back up looking pretty good. And what's nice about this, and you can, I mean, you could keep going forever. Let's do one more. That looks pretty good. Then just take the whole thing and left click, no outline. And there's your brush stroke. So you can get brush strokes off the internet and play with it. Now you can still change that by going to your shape tool and clicking on these and moving these nodes around and make them longer. Make the brush stroke whatever you want. You know, change the nodes around. Uh, make this point right here a little sharper, a little more, a little less. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.